just me or like since Stranger Things came out, every time anybody hears a scent, it's like, oh, oh yeah. Stranger Things. Like yeah. Stranger Things, the first show to ever use a synthesizer. Have you seen Stranger Things? Have you seen that one? Season <laughs> four. We made it to episode five. Our fifth night at Earthship Records brings a new crew together. We have Michael Blunt on second guitar, Michael Williams on bass tonight, John Madeira on synth duty, and Ben Livingston returning to the throne. Um, so I have, you know, um, a bunch of pedals here. We kind of need to divvy up and see what's what. Um, yeah, we're actually gonna try and use this tonight. It's a turntable. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> You know that knob on your guitar that says tone? It's that. But oh, I never used that one. Puddle. Oh. Well, no, I can use <laughs> that. That's crazy. That tone is the same four letters as the word note. I, I brought the, the manual for this. It's called the student driver because it can do something crazy, apparently. So maybe you can do something cool with that. You may want to read the manual. I did bring the syntax error. Awesome. We need to decide if that's going to be a bass thing or if that's gonna be like overkill on base for this. You could maybe find a section to, yeah. to use it in. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so you want that on your base rig? Yeah, okay. let's do it, got it. That'd be great. Yeah, so I'm gonna give you, oh, it's, a, it's a, a reverb tremolo. Right. Okay. And it has this this button called Vast Expansive. You hold it down, it goes into infinite reverb. That's a great pedal. Um, like a phrase type. Yeah, right, 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 exactly. Yeah. Okay. And then I have an octave down fuzz for you, which you can, <laughs> yeah. you can disengage the octave or Turn the octave on when you want, and I'm thinking of that riff, the bump, bump, banana. Uh huh. Because octave down usually is better monophonic. That, sure. That would be the exactly. moment, you know. Absolutely. Uh, I have the Q boost. You can do this in vintage or modern mode, and I think the modern mode is like a clean boost, and you choose what frequency you kind of want to boost, and then this is like a volume, and you can do the whole frequency boost off and just use it as a boost, the yeah. preamp essentially. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, you have. A delay pedal. That you yeah. Need to okay. Yeah. I can help you get. I can help you get set up with that. This is your bass distortion, the spirit animal from Farm Pedals, and that's uh, fully distorted, and you clean blend up as much as you want. I love that it has two knobs ah. and on and off switch. It's refreshing. And Michael, here's the bass compressor for you. And for space compressor. So. Boom. There were a ridiculous amount of pedals that had to get used on this song, so I tried to prepare something special. Because of the higher number of pedals that we reviewed in part one, uh, I decided to leave the Solid Gold Effects Ether and the Land Devices Domino out of this session, and I'm going to work with them additionally in my home studio after. My chain was the Silk Tone Fuzz into the Fjord Fuzz Odin, hitting the Empress Compressor, then out to the Red Panda Particle V2, Champion Lecce Swan Hunter, and finally the Earthquaker Grand Orbiter V3 Phaser. The 29 pedals Yuna and the Disaster Area DPZ ADZ have been staples, and they aren't going anywhere, of course. For Michael's baseboard, we kept it mostly simple, using the Stone Daff Effects Q Boost in modern mode for body and coloring, the Farm Pedal Spirit Animal for the heavier sections, the Empress Bass Compressor, of course, and the Alexander Pedal Syntax Error 2 for some key glitchy moments where there are some breaks in the song. I'm so excited about this one. Oh, this a, I love the art. Yeah. B, I love that. I mean, look, I love yeah, pedals a lot of variety. Okay, look, there's one That's front, great. But then it's also okay. great to get a pedal that has two knobs sometimes. You kind of find your favorite sound with it and you keep it on that, you know. For Michael Blunt, we started with the 36 Circuit Student Driver as his main overdrive then the Redbeard Effects Honey Badger for some big monophonic riffs in the song, the GFI System Orca Delay, and the Mass Effects Fast Expanse Harmonic Tremolo Reverb for some added movement and atmosphere in some of the more melodic sections. I'm gonna start with the Student Driver, which is apparently Hello, a boost pedal. That I'm not familiar with, but it looks cool. Uh, then I'll go to the compressor. From there, I will go to the Honey Badger, which is an octave fuzz that I'm not extremely familiar with. Then the Orca Delay. I have a lot of guitar pedals. I am not as much of an enthusiast as, as Cohen, but I, I think there is something wonderful about them and the way that they can spark creativity, just the experimental nature of playing and twisting every knob on it. You know, that's what I love. Oh, Mary. 
For John, we kept it pretty simple and split left and right into two different pedals, the Matoverse Warble Swell Echo Make 2 and the Walrus Slot for Reverb. We got some routing help with his different synths from the Land Devices Land Mixer, which we will be using a lot more heavily moving on in the series. I've worked with these um, a little bit earlier today. So we have the, um, the Matoverse Electronics. This is their Warble Swell. It's basically like if you have an analog delay and you crank it up and it starts to oscillate like the end of ra like every Radiohead song, basically. Um, then we have the, the slot of the Walrus Audio Reverb that also has um, a sustain feature. So I'll probably play a note or play a pad and hold that out a little bit. Then we have this mixer um, by, by Land Devices. Um, so I'm going to be running um, two signals. So I'm going to have a left and a right, the reverb into one, the delay into other, and then we'll be combining that um, in the, into the DAW. If I was running multiple synths, I could have a bunch. This time's a little bit different, but this is definitely something that, uh, that synth players can use. After we finish roughly getting a hold of our boards and the song sections, we jump to tracking Ben first, as usual. He never fails to impress me with how quickly he picks up every twist and turn I throw at him in record time. I have to remind you again that he had never heard this track until tonight, and the same goes for everyone else. We really set out to challenge ourselves with each of these sessions. Or something, just something, you know. Sound speed? Sound speed? Oh, that's right, they can hear us in the room. Is that the right term? That is good, you nailed it. Couple little things. Time. That's a take. Michael knocked out the bass tracking pretty quickly, and we decided to make more of the nuanced pedal changes in post by reamping when I have more time to dial in things like the syntax error too, which is a deeply complex pedal. Blunt did a great job writing some complimentary parts to the riffs I brought in and really filled the higher melodic space in the song that was needed in several spots. Likewise, I took his parts and reamped for more control over his sounds later. <laughs> I needed way before that though, man, I should have said something. With John, we knew we wanted to utilize the Warble Swell Echo's awesome oscillation capabilities while pairing it with the ambience from the Slofa. So I did some pro foot switch pressing while he played some minimalistic melodies that fed the delay and reverb perfectly. And of course, at the end of the night, when we are all exhausted, we try to pull it all together one last time.
much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the track, check out my Instagram page later on this week, and I'll have some reels up showing how we got some of these sounds using the different combinations of pedals from this episode. All right, now, giveaway time. First up, the Mass Effects Vast Expanse Harmonic Tremolo and Reverb is going to the 36 Circuit Student Driver Overdrive is going to make its way to the Red Beard Effects Honey Badger is going to the Farm Pedals Spirit Animal Bass Distortion, the Matoverse Warble Swell Echo Make Two. The Land Devices Domino is going to make its way home to. And finally, the grand prize. Congratulations. This is a ridiculously awesome haul. We've got the Silk Tone Fuzz, the Red Panda Particle V2, the Earthquaker Grand Orbiter V3, the Champion Lechy Swan Hunter, the Fjord Fuzz Odin. A Chox DC7 power supply. Of course, you're also going to get a Pedal Train Novo 24 with a gig bag. This gorgeous Revelation cable instrument cable. A set of Disaster Area Designs Evo solderless patch cables. A $75 Little Box Effects gift card, so you're probably going to want to add something else from their curated boutique pedal selection to uh, finish off this board. $75 Circles Drum Samples gift card, and they just released a really cool new sample pack, as well as a year membership to Persona Sphere, so you can download the new Studio One Six and all of their plugins. It's pretty rad. So thank you so much again, everyone who participated. Sorry about the little bit of wait time in between episode part one and part two. Now that we're about to wrap primary filming on the studio sessions, I'm gonna be doing a lot less legwork here. So, so hopefully the rest of the series rolls out a little bit more smoothly. We still have seven more episodes to go. It's crazy, but I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, congratulations everyone that won on this round and everyone that has won on the past rounds. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. Till then, take care. When I'm in this